What's going on everybody? I'm Jeff Carpenter with V-Flat World and I'm in my studio today with Caroline and we're just shooting some fun, colorful uh, social content for her. But I just wanna run through what the setup looks like so we can then see what the final images look like. key light here we are using just a beauty dish with a grid and that's going to prevent any light from spilling onto the background the background speaking of that is going to be the black side of a v-flat uh, if we kind of look around the back we've got another light that's shining into that black v-flat which is going to have any color we want right now we've got a blue gel in there uh, and that's what actually creates the colored background um, a lot of times i've used white backgrounds to, to change the color but in this case we're actually using a black because it's gonna absorb a lot more of that light and create a much more saturated background. Uh, and behind that, to kind of get some rim light, we also have a five foot octa in the back there. And that v is just leaning up against that, and that's allowing light to kind of come around the back, basically creating two rim lights and one little hair light up top. And finally, just to have a little bit more control of the light underneath her nose and chin, we've got this three foot octa down here that I almost knocked over right there, but it's okay. So let's go ahead and shoot just a little bit so you can see what each light is doing individually. I probably won't put her through the pain of just doing this one. We know what that one's gonna do. It's just gonna be kind of scary ghost tail light, but we'll add that one in later, but we'll just show you the key light, background light, and the rim light back there, and then we'll show you the final image. All right, so for my first shot, I just have my key light on. Again, that is a beauty dish with a grid, uh, and that's just gonna prevent any light from spilling anywhere we don't want it to. So let's go ahead and take the shot with that, and then we'll go ahead and add the, uh, the background light, and then we'll add the rim light as well. So first shot here is just gonna be the key light. And as you can see, it's just kind of a standard, just black background headshot at that point. Nothing going on. We also don't have this light under here, and that's gonna create a lot of contrast. So we're gonna add that in to kind of beautify the image a little bit so it's not such harsh shadows. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and just throw on, let's turn off key light, and we'll turn on just the background light, and that's the blue gel light. So with that, we can see it's just creating a blue background, but she's silhouetted because I turned the key light off. So we'll turn that key light back on and then we'll really start to see this image kind of start to come to life. But I, one thing I do want, I do want a little bit of separation from the background a little bit. So we'll go ahead and kick on that third light that's in the back, uh, just that five foot octa with the V flat leaning up, which almost creates three lights into one, from one light. So we'll turn that one on. And what I wanna do, I actually wanna turn the key light and the background light off just so we can see what that light does by itself. And you'll see that it really, really separates her from the background here. And again, she'll be silhouetted in this one too, just like she was with the background light. But it just creates a little bit of hair light. So that's kind of a nice option, to, especially shooting someone with darker hair on a dark background. Obviously we're adding the blue, so it's not really a dark background anymore. But if I wanted to just have just this light and the background light with, and just be a black background, we can have that, that separation and allows us to kind of separate her from the background a little bit. Um, so let's go ahead and turn all these on and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one on down here as well. And what this one's gonna do, let's go ahead and take one without it and then I'll add it so you can really see what the difference of that light is doing. So that's one there, we'll kick this one on. And all this is doing, I could throw another V-flat in here, just have some tabletop fill, but with the grid on here, and that's preventing too much light spreading in any direction really, we don't have as much control with, with the, the under, under fill that we would with just the light. So that's why I'm using a light where in a lot of cases I would actually just use a V-flat uh, to kind of kick some light back up. So as you can see, now that image is really starting to come together. And now we can just kind of shoot and get the image we want, get the image that she needs for what, what she came here for, and, uh, and that's that. But if you want to check out any more of my work, check me out on Instagram at Ready Light Media. Uh, check out VFlat World at vflatworld.com. Big thanks to Caroline for helping us out today, and I'll see you next time.